Hey there, this is Chetan and welcome to CRNT Designers. In this Blender tutorial, we are going to create this kind of design. Here you can see three designs from the outer border of that cylindrical or circular form. To create that, I need to add a circle or cylinder with a proper vertex count. I will go with a multiple of three while giving the vertex count for that circle or cylinder. If you multiply 12 into 3, you will get a 36. If you add your initial objects with a proper vertex count, then your modeling process will be easy. So let's add the circle with a 36 vertex count. Then you need to go to the edit mode and select all the words and then extrude them. You will get this kind of shape. Then add one more circle add there. And this time you need to add the circle with a 12 vertex count. And then give the position to that circle at here. Give the position to it on the outer border of that first circular shape in this way. And try to match its words properly so you can easily merge the words. Then go to the edit mode and press F to fill the gap of that circle. Then you can change the transform pivot point to the 3D cursor and then you can shift it to duplicate it and then rotate that circle into the 120 degree angle. Then you can select all these four parts and then use the boolean operation union and then apply the boolean modifier at there. Just delete the cutter objects. You will get this kind of design. Then you can select these words and then try to merge them properly. Then select these edges and then press F to fill the gap. Then you can select these words and then connect them with the right click connect vertex path. And you will get this kind of shape. If there will be any double words then select everything and then press M and merge by distance. So double words will get merged. Then you need to select these faces and then delete them. Same thing from the other side also. Select these faces and then delete them. And then you can delete the bottom part at there. So you will get only this much part and you need to work on it. Then set the origin to the 3D cursor. If you want to check that you have deleted the right face edge, after duplicating and rotating this part, you will get the complete circular shape. For that, just duplicate it and check it. If you are getting the right circular shape, then it's okay. After that, you can start to work on this shape. You can select these corner words, then apply the scale on the model, then select these corner words and then add a bevel on them with the control B and B. Add a bevel on the words in this way. I have added the two segment bevel add there and now you need to create the right topology add there. You need to select these words and then connect them with the right click connect vertex path and dissolve the unwanted edges which are there. Just try to create a good topology add there. Select these words and then connect them and then dissolve these edges. Now you can see I have got the right chord based topology add there. You can check the topology by adding the sub D modifier. If you are getting the good results out there, then that's okay. Then select these words and then connect them. I have taken the backup of that first circular shape, so I can use it later on to create the boolean design. So here is that circular shape. Just scale it down like this to create that boolean design to create the whole add there. But before creating, you need to select all these faces and use the insert operation add there to create the border add there. So just give the proper thickness for the insert operation and then here you need to use the knife tool and you need to create a cut like this to continue that edge flow and then select these words and merge them in this way. Then you can take the symmetry out there. If you are facing difficulty with the symmetry then you need to apply the rotation on the model so you can easily take the symmetry. So control A and apply the rotation and then you can take the symmetry add there easily. Now you can turn on the circular shape then go to the edit mode and extrude it. Add a thickness and give the right position Then select both the objects and use the boolean operation difference. Then adjust the scale and apply the boolean modifier and then delete the cutter object. And now you need to merge the words properly add there to get the right chord based topology. Just try to create a decent topology add there. And then you can take the symmetry one more time. Nice. Then select this edge loop, adjust its position, then E to extrude it and scale it down like this. And now you can see we are getting the proper 2D shape for the design. Then select everything, change the transform pivot point to the 3D cursor and shift D to duplicate it and then rotate it into the 120 degree angle. And then complete that circular shape. Select everything and then press M and merge by distance so double words will get merged. And here you have the 2D shape for the model. 
then you can add the sub D modifier on it. And here I am facing little bit of difficulty with the shading. I am getting pinching issue at there. This kind of issue sometimes happens because of the double words or the face orientation. So first check that there will be any double words then merge it. Otherwise check the face orientation. In this scenario the face orientation is wrong. So you need to recalculate it outside. You can search it or you can press alt n to recalculate it. And now we are getting the right face orientation and right shading. Now you can start to create a 3D form from this 2D shape. You need to select everything and then you need to extrude it along the z-axis. So you will get a 3D form. Then you need to move it little bit. Then you can duplicate this object and move it along the z-axis. So we got this kind of two rings at there. And now just we need to connect these two rings together. To create one object from these two rings. You can select these two rings and you can join them. And now this is one object. You need to select these faces with the shape select and then delete these faces. And here also you need to select the faces and then delete them. Then you can select these edge loops and then right click bridge edge loop. And you will get this kind of connection at there. You can select everything and take the symmetry at there along the x axis. And now you need to create similar kind of join at the bottom side. So just select these faces and then delete them. Same thing at here also select the faces and then delete them. Then select these edge loops and then right click bridge edge loop. You will get this kind of form. Then you can add the sub D modifier and shade smooth it. It looks really well decent but we need to work a little bit more on it. You can add the center loop cut like this at that joining part. And then you need to select these edges with the shift select and then right click set flow. Same thing select these edges with the shortest path selection and then right click set flow. You will get curve form at there with the help of set flow. It will try to match a good edge flow at there for the model. Then you can add supportive loop cuts on the model to maintain the form. Now you can see here I am getting a little bit of pinching on that curve form. That's just because of we don't have any loop structure at there. So here you need to use the knife tool and you need to create a loop structure like this. Just select these words and merge them. Just try to create this kind of loop structure at everywhere. This loop structure will help to maintain the form of that curved surface. And now you can see after adding the supportive loop cuts and creating the proper loop structure, I'm getting decent looking design at here. You can see the design and shading from the matte cap view. It looks really well. The topology is also good. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial, then please hit the like button and subscribe to YouTube channel. Bye bye. See so you next video. Take care.